Chick-fil-A if you're watching. Sponsor me. I love you. too bad. I mean they had a lot of really cool reptiles. Um, they were a little low on fish. But like I said, they had a lot of cool reptiles. And they had a red-tailed boa that was ginormous. Their care, um, I would have done things slightly differently. But I mean it's a pet store. So I didn't really go in with very high expectations, but it's not like a pet smart or pet co. So I was kind of hoping for a little more but uh, what are you gonna do? So their prices for some of the things were actually really good. So I did end up getting three things. So the first thing I got was this Reptorock from Zoomed. It's a reptile food dish and it's like as big as my head. But I got it for Arcadius because he is starting to eat a lot more recently. And I'm having to refill his bowls or I've been using the lid to one of my Tupperware containers and I've needed the Tupperware so I haven't been able to use it because he's using the lid so I saw this and it was $8.98 so I was like you know what it's pretty big not even $10 why not so I got this it's a reptile food dish size large and it's 100% recycled plastic. Go zoom ahead. So I will try to find a link for this on Amazon and put it in the description below. Because I think this is going to work really well. They had other sizes too. But I needed something that would fit in his enclosure. And the small one was really small. Even the medium was kind of too small. I figured he's only going to eat more. Hopefully he'll get bigger. So I thought this was a good size. So the next two things I'm going to show you are actually for a new reptile that I'm going to be getting next week. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Um, my next video I'm probably going to do a shopping vlog slash setting up the enclosure but still not telling you what it is. It's a secret. It's my belated birthday present to myself. Not really belated. I knew about it before my birthday, had it all set up. But, not telling you what it is. It's a surprise. You'll have to wait and find out. Alright, so up next, I have this moss from Flukers. Um, I don't know how you pronounce it. Is it sphagnum? Sphagnum moss? 
But yeah, so it's four quarts. Uh, it came to three ninety nine. dollars So it's not exactly the kind that I wanted to get. Like I wanted to get the Sphagnum, but I wasn't really planning on getting this particular brand, this kind. I don't know. I didn't really look more into it, but for three ninety nine, I was like, why not? So last but not least, I got one of these black hides. I always see people using them, and I never know where they get them from, but I've been wanting some. And I walked in and they literally had just piles of them in different sizes. So this was one of the smaller ones. I wanted to get one for Phoenix, but the next size up was $10. So I kind of decided not to, because I could just get it on Amazon if I really wanted to end up getting one. Um, I wasn't sure that it would fit in the tank that I have her in right now. So it might be a later purchase when I get a new tank. But, so I got one of these, and it came to $6.98, so that's a pretty good, pretty good price. So that's why I got that. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any guesses on what my new reptile might be, leave it in the comments. You may be right, you may be not. I guess you'll have to wait and find out. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more videos. And maybe hit that notification bell. So you'll be notified for my next couple of videos and find out what my surprise reptile is going to be. Now I can eat my lunch and finish driving back to school.